I'm Dr. Julie Schell from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital, and today I would like to show you how to use an alpha track glucometer to take a cat or a dog's blood sugar readings. So, it comes with a little container that your veterinary will have for you of strips, and it's important not to touch the strip too much with your fingers, especially if you've eaten food. It's very important to wash your hands first because any sugar that is on your food could interfere with the reading. So, um, the strip kit comes with a number, and in this case, the cat number is 38 and the dog number is 36, and it always says it at the back of the container. So I basically place the strip inside the reader, and there's only one way it will go. And you wait until the number comes up. And this guy shows 38, so it's already adjusted to the, to the correct number. But you might have to press the C to make it up or um, to go higher, or the M to make it down to go lower to match the strip number. Next, I basically use a Kleenex or a cotton ball to place on top of my finger so that as I prick on the ear, it won't pierce my finger. It will only pierce the cat's ear to get the cat's blood and not my blood. And I use a 22 gauge needle. It's a little bit bigger of a gauge. I always like to feed a cat while he's getting this procedure done. So I'm just going to add some more treats to his food just to distract him. Because usually I'll be um, feeding them their meal. Um, this will be uh, often done in the morning as well. And you just basically put your little finger in his ear and you pierce it right on the flap. And you just kind of press and it'll basically massage some blood to the surface. And you just kind of keep massaging until you, you see some blood pop up. And I see a nice little blood guy, so I take this guy and apply it right to that drop of blood. And sometimes you need a little bit more than it asks for, so you just kind of keep milking the blood. Here's a nice drop. You have to be kind of fast if you can, but don't be afraid if you have to do this twice. Like I've done this a thousand times, so it's quite easy. And there, and it shows you reading right away in millimoles per liter. We always use millimoles per liter, that's Canadian units. Um, and then you mark it down, your veterinarian will provide you with a chart, or there's now like apps where you can mark down the number, and then you're basically left with the curve. Um, with some of these really nice software, you can put it into a computer system and it'll show you the curve. And then I'm just gonna pet your cat after, pet the cat after, just to reward him and tell him he's a good boy. I never like to do a procedure and then not like reward the cat with some love. And just kind of let him know that you're not always going to be pricking his ear every every single day, um, every single moment. And yeah, definitely, it's usually something that we'll do once an hour or once every two hours during the day. And it's nice to have the sugar done at home because it provides a little bit more of an accurate, non-stressed, non-white lab coat effect number and reading. And yeah, we work with cats a lot that have pancreatitis or inflammatory bowel disorder that might require a few more frequent curves. So that's why I like to have it done when they're in the comfort of their own home. But if you're too nervous to do it, definitely it can be done in a veterinary facility and we'll just kind of moderate and, and look at it closely and analyze it to figure out how much like white lab coat effect there is. If you have any questions, please, please phone us at 403-278-1984 or check our website out at www.bowbottomvet.com. Thank you very much. <laughs>